today I am doing another keratin hair extension uh, video. My at-home keratin hair extension video has been doing so well recently that I decided I want to do one where I give you guys my tips and tricks on how to make them last and how to not end up with a disaster like I have in this photo. Yes, not my best moment. So if you guys want to know all my tips and how you can care for, for your hair extensions, make them last long because we know they're expensive and you know, you don't want them ruined right away. So if you guys want to know more, just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump on in. So for the last five years, I've had keratin hair extensions in. I had them once with brown hair and four times I had blonde hair. And so I feel like I have some good knowledge in my hair. I've had it where when I take them out, I've kind of damaged my hair. And recently when I've been doing them, it's, you take it out, my hair's very healthy. I go to the salon, I just have her, you know, do a, like a slight trim. And then I, you know, obviously balayage my hair. Uh, and she's complimented, like she said, I wouldn't even have noticed that you had extensions in because I make sure that I'm very careful when I take them out and I care for my hair the whole time. So. Let's jump on into my list of how to care for them. Number one, make sure every night you sleep with a braid in your hair. I feel like everyone knows this already, but if you don't, so the bonds, the little bonds right here, I don't know if you guys could see them, they will, you know, as you're moving your head, your head's kind of causing friction between your head and the pillow and your hair just kind of goes all over. They will start to tangle and you'll also start to like, um, you know when you tease your hair a little bit, it'll kind of feel like that above where the bond is, especially as they grow out. You're a little safer in the beginning stages, but at the end, like towards your three months, like you will have a knot in your hair if you do not like put it. I just put mine either in two separate braids or I just put it to the side and tie it in a nice loose braid and just leave it like that overnight. So that is my first tip is to sleep in a braid always. Uh, do not use any products with oil. Sorry, my phone. Do not use any products with oil in them. I was a dummy and I wanted to buy like the best like shampoos and conditioners that I could to make sure that my hair, you know, stayed really like moisturized. So I bought Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. I am telling you, my bonds were coming out left and right because it will just start disintegrating the bond over time because it's not like, you know, straight oil. Like there's other stuff in that shampoo and conditioner, but they were just breaking down where like I'd be washing my hair and all of a sudden there's an extension, there's an extension. Ooh, they're all just coming out. You guys, they were, they've come out in class for me before. Like it kind of gets like a little on my arm and I sit, you'll see like one piece getting long and you're like, you shove it in your backpack real fast. Like. That has happened. So yeah, make sure you make, there is no oil. If you are gonna use oil, cause I know like a lot of people like to put it on the extension since they don't naturally have oils in them. You can, but like do, like I would say from here down because if you put it up near the root, you're just gonna start breaking down the bond and you're gonna regret your life. Trust me. Oh, I think I should mention real fast. I said this in my last, well, I think the video I already filmed today is going up after this one, so. Um, I have cuts and bruises. Oh, there's one on my elbow. I'll spare you that one. I fainted and fell off a Segway. So I think I go, I'm going to go more into detail on that on the other video. So stay tuned for my foundation review going up after this. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're wondering why my hands look crazy, that's why. But back to this video. Another thing not to do is don't wash them too often. I wash my extensions once, maybe twice a week, or my hair once, maybe twice a week. You know, I use dry shampoo, um, I put my hair in a ponytail towards the end of the week. It will make the hair last a lot longer. Every time you wash them and dry them, you are gonna start drying them out and damaging them. Every time he touches the, them, it damages them. So always keep that in mind because unlike your natural hair, they don't get oil. There is no way to repair them. The best I've ever done was I really wanted to reuse my extensions. Like I didn't want to have to buy another pack. So I like left them in like olive oil for like a week and then rinsed them out and they were soft again. But eventually they will go right back to the bad state. So, you know, just a little thing to keep in mind. Wash them as little as, off, as little as possible. And like before you get extensions, if you can start training your hair to go longer without uh, having to, you know, wash it. So just stock up on a ton of dry shampoo and you will be golden. Now, next one is do make sure to brush them before bed. Now we brush our hair in the morning 
so that's you know good but brush it before bed i found that this helps them you know at the end of the day you know kind of touch your hair do stuff throughout the day they get a little tangled maybe just lightly brush through them i like to try to make sure that all of i want to show you guys this so that you can see what i'm talking about i like to make sure that all of these bonds are separated from one another like i want to make sure that no one's getting tangled there are no fights between my extensions on my head and yes there's a lot of them in there there's probably i only put three of the five packs in my or bundles in my hair so mine i probably have like 60, 80, I don't know, pieces of my hair. So I just, I know it's a little bit of t extra time, but just make sure that they're all separated. If you do start to feel knots, do not panic. I'm gonna touch on that in a second. So if you start feeling knots and you're like getting nervous and you're like, I'm gonna lose all my hair, it's gonna be in a knot, I'm gonna have to chop it off. No, I got you, because I've been there. <laughs> okay, so then my next point is do not let your hair grow out too much before taking them out. Now, we all wanna ride out the days of lovely, long, luscious hair, but there comes a day when they has to go because it has to go or your hair is gonna go real fast. This lovely picture, which I showed you before, was the result of me, one, not taking care of them properly, and two, them growing out for probably two to three weeks too long. Especially when I was in college and I had them, I had to wait till I came home or my sister came up to college to do my hair. I let them go a little longer. Had I maybe taken better care of them, make sure like, you know, every bond was separated every night and all that, I would have been okay. But I learned that later on in life. So, you know, live and learn. When this happened, well, the reason why is because as they grow, it's gonna start getting farther and farther down your hair. This makes them a lot easier to kind of twist and turn, especially in the middle of the night, which why the braid is important. And just like any friction across, from your pillow and your head, will just start to, you know, like the, almost like a dreadlock. Like it really starts to look like a dreadlock on top of your extension. It's a scary thing to happen. I thought I would like ruin my hair forever. Um, what you do, you go and get some olive oil from your kitchen and you just, I put it all it on the, um, from the root to the bond on my hair and I let it sit. If you have debonding gel, you can use that as well on the bonds, but definitely put the olive oil through your actual hair because at this point, it's your real hair that's tangled and that's the part that you're gonna be afraid to lose. Now, get the debonding gel oil, or mine's a gel, whatever yours is, put it on and take the tool, there's a tool that releases these bonds and just gently be patient. I'm telling you, you're gonna have sore hands by the end of this, like right here, it starts to hurt. And just unclamp each and every one, slightly pull it down, hold the top, like, sorry, we ran out of room on our card, but we're back and we're good. So hold the top of your hair and like gently, gently, gently pull the extension out. Now, you're gonna always, no matter what, no matter how amazing you are taking out your extension, there's always gonna be I just spit, I'm so sorry. Thank God you're not really right in front of me. <laughs> um, there's always gonna be some of your hair on it. Do not freak out. Your hair, your head sheds hair all the time. Like you run your fingers through your natural hair, you're gonna lose hair. But this time since it's attached, like pretty much glued on, it's just gonna hold on to that bond. So that's not all your hair falling out, do not worry. We slightly pull it down. And now when you get them all out, you're gonna feel like you had, like you teased your hair, like you're trying to be like in an 80s, going back to the 80s. It's gonna be weird, but take like um, like a brush, any kind of brush, like a comb probably works best. It's gonna feel all knotted, and you are going to just gently go like this. Like I'm telling you, it's small strokes, small strokes, and you go like that, and eventually the hair will like relax <laughs> and like just come back down. Like you'll be able to brush it out. It's a really long process, so grab a snack. It's a terrible thing to do. It's not fun. Um, you might cry. I shed a few tears <laughs> along the way, but your hair will be okay. Then, after that, go wash your hair and deep condition it like crazy because your hair is probably pretty damaged at that point. <laughs> and then I had to go get a trim from my um, 
hairstylist because now I obviously I saved most of my hair but it was thin on the end so I had to get it a cut it's okay because your hair will grow back um, and you can always put extensions in but I recommend waiting probably like two three months so I will usually wear extensions from like what October November December so I'll wear them through December take them out I usually have them out in January February I might put them in for February this year. That's my birthday. But I'll definitely take them out for January. I at least give my my hair like a month. I love to do two to three months. I put them back in. I leave them in for the spring. And then I take them out for summer. Because summer I like to swim. And it's hot and humid. I don't want this much hair on me anyways. And when you're sweaty you want to wash your hair a lot. And that just doesn't work with extensions. So you kind of have to work with your extensions. I mean if you live in a hot humid place all the time. And you still want extensions. Go for it. You know, I don't have the best advice for that because that's not where I live, but, you know, try to keep washing it to a minimum. Do the best that you can, you guys. If you guys run into a disaster, um, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I can help you out. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Leave me lots of comments below letting me know if this helped you at all. If you guys have any tips for everyone else getting their hair, uh, you know, hair extensions put in and you think you have a tip that's really, you know, helpful, uh, leave it in the comment section down below so everyone can see it when they come and search for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. If there are any other videos you want me to do on extensions or just product reviews in the future, once again, leave me a comment and I will see you guys in my next video. But don't forget to uh, follow my Instagram because I'm going to leave it right here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!